All right, we're starting with steps one through three for this two-patch hand-sewn pillow. Tells us to use a rectangular template as a guide for the rectangles. Using two coordinating fabrics, trace a rectangle from each following the straight grain on the wrong side using light pencil lines. So on this printed fabric, it's easy to know that this is the wrong side. I'm going to put the template close to the edge, but not on the edge, with a slight border. The grain line is the way the fabric's been woven. Some lines are straight this way, some lines are straight this way, and I want to line up my 90 degree angle at the corner. So in other words, I don't want to just flop this template down anywhere. And a number two pencil is best. You have some options. Hold the template steady. Hold the pencil in your dominant hand. Pull touching the bottom of the template, change the grip of your pencil and pull, change the grip with your hand and pull and change the grip for this last side. If that's not comfortable for you, you can press down firmly and pull, rotate, drag it with the same grip, pull. Your point is at the bottom of the rectangle, pull, and pull. Now it says light pencil lines, the lightest lines you can draw and still see them on the fabric. This is a little bit dark because I just did it twice. So that's one rectangle. I'm going to take my solid fabric in this case, and solid fabrics are the same on both sides. So our rule is whatever side has a pencil line on it becomes the wrong side. So I'm going to put it on, Follow the grain lines, give it a little border, secure it, and decide which pencil grip works out best for me to make a nice, even line that's still visible, but not too dark. Okay, once I've drawn both rectangles, your teacher's gonna ask to take a look at them just to make sure they're on grain, and then we follow the instructions and we cut them out. When we use the shears, we line our eye up with the blade. We make sure we're not cutting our fingers underneath. And we cut from the back of the shears, from the back of the shears, right on the line. Not bigger, not smaller, right on the line. We want to um, make a strong attempt at getting nice 90 degree angles at each corner. So you're gonna keep cutting until you have two rectangles cut out, and you don't want to ask someone else, is this good, is this right? You can self-check. So as soon as you get both rectangles cut out, find the template that you used to trace them with, and lay it on top, or lay your template on top of the rectangle, and if it's basically the same size, it's good. You did good.